Graffiti is becoming a big problem in Goshen. Already this year, cleanup has cost taxpayers seven times more than it did all of last year. Today, we learned most of the graffiti is from gangs marking their territory. ABC 57's Judy Lykowski talked with police and the street department today to find out how they're addressing this problem. Judy, what can you tell us? Well, Kim, I'm just east of downtown Goshen, where many businesses and homes have been hit by graffiti here. Now, I'm told once graffiti, a call comes in, then that means the police department will go out and take a report. Now, that report then goes to the street department. If the graffiti is a gang sign, street crews will remove it within a 24-hour period. So far this year, they've put in more than seven times the amount of man hours that they put in of all last year just to counteract this graffiti problem. We spend, like I say, so far this year, 111 hours, and we're only halfway through the year. Where last year we did 14 for the whole year. But the guy who oversees, uh, who oversees that's making about 19 bucks an hour. So, and his time is wasted taking care of graffiti when it could be doing uh, more important things. Now tonight, the Chamber of Commerce is holding a citywide department task force meeting for all department heads. And they're trying to find out where there could be room to cut the budget so they could make room for the shortfall. I'm told that the graffiti budget could be tabled to a budget cut. Reporting live in Goshen, Judy Lykowski, ABC 57 News.